Breast cancer in Uganda is grown to levels that we hadn't seen before. In the 60s, we were counting 11 out of 100,000, and now we are approaching the 40s, so it is really increased in incidence a great deal. Yes, yeah, it's been a privilege and it's important for me and my colleagues to, to participate in this study because we need evidence to advocate for more resources. We need evidence to be able to fight this epidemic that is that we've never seen before. And to do that, you generate evidence by doing research. Yeah, the results are, we've, we're getting already. They are, okay, interesting, but not interesting in that sense. But they, 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 they're telling us a number of things. And I'll just tell you two. One of them is that women are coming for care really late, over 80%. We knew that already, but now we're putting um, more information in it. For example, they are delaying over a year or a year around about there to come after they've seen their uh, symptoms. But we're also finding out why. Uh, for example, lack of awareness of the disease is contributing to them coming late. There are quite a number uh, in this in this particular study. Uh, there are biology factors, but maybe we'll concentrate more on the on the ones that we can do something about, like the low awareness, the low socioeconomic status, maybe the lack of access to care, and the delay that happens when they go to multiple uh, service providers because before they go to a place where a diagnosis can be made. If we can only make an early diagnosis, then we'll be able to change uh, the rate at which people die. And how do we make an early diagnosis? The barriers, like I indicated earlier, to that early diagnosis is awareness, women that don't know about uh, breast cancer. So just improving awareness alone might imp in increase the number of women that come early. And if they come early and we're able to treat them, then the, those ones that die, the number will reduce.